Leaf drop on a fiddle leaf fig houseplant is a fairly common issue you may be facing. Luckily for us, diagnosing why this is happening so we can correct it going forwards is fairly straightforward. Are you sure? As long as you know what signs to look out for and understand what the plant needs. Improper watering of your fiddle leaf fig will result in leaf drop and is probably the number one cause of this common problem. This essentially means that the plant does not like being either underwatered or overwatered. Overwatering the plant simply means that you're giving the plant too much water for its needs, much like a drunk uncle at a wedding has had too many drinks. Please, not again. But what does overwatering actually mean? Well, first, we need to identify what the plant needs in terms of water because not all plants are the same and reconcile that with how we are watering our plant. The fiddle leaf fig is part of the ficus family. His brothers and sisters include the ficus elastica and the ficus benjamina and pretty much all ficus plants do not like to have soggy soil and the fiddle leaf fig is no different. So if you're watering this plant weekly and not letting the soil dry out in between watering, they never listen. then you're probably over watering the plant and it will drop some leaves. I always advise to check the soil of the plant before watering by sticking your finger into the soil and it's especially important here. Go a couple of inches deep and if you feel moisture, then I would wait another few days and check again. The soil will be wetter the lower down the pot you go. So if the top two inches are wet, then it definitely has enough water in the pot. If you've got a moisture meter, then even better. Lord, here we go again. This will tell you exactly how wet the soil is and only water when your probe reads dry. If you haven't got a moisture meter, then check out my Amazon page linked in the description of this video to see the one I use on my plants. These plants really need to dry out before watering. Keeping the roots consistently wet will result in root rot and eventual plant death. I tend to water my fiddle leaf fig once every two weeks in the spring and summer and once a month during the winter, but this really does depend on your climate. If you live in sunny Florida, then you probably need to water a little more frequently. I live here in rainy Sheffield. Big old fat rain. So it takes a while for plant soil to dry out. To identify if you've been overwatering your plant, you should obviously check the soil of the plant, but the leaves will also tell you. Are the leaves limp and mushy? Do they fall off the plant when you touch them? This means that the roots of the plant are pushing too much water to the leaf tissue and rotting the leaves from the inside, turning them mushy until they fall off the plant. This leaf drop will affect the lower leaves first and will gradually move up the plant until you're left with a bare central stem. <laughs> you probably also notice some yellowing of the leaves or some browning on the tips, which means that the leaf cells are actually bursting from too much moisture in the plant. Underwatering your plant can also cause the leaves of the plant to drop off. This is essentially the plant going into survival mode and shedding its leaves to conserve moisture. Plants transpire water through the leaves. The more leaves a plant has, the more water it will transpire. And if the plant is not getting enough water, it will shed some leaves to conserve the water it has for survival. Although this plant likes the soil to dry out between watering, don't go too long and keep the soil dry for weeks at a time. This will cause damage to the roots long term because you're repeatedly putting the plant through periods of drought. I think we all know the clear signs that a plant is not getting enough water. will have a droopy appearance and a general look that it wants to give up. Well, duh. Luckily for us, underwater plants normally bounce back. If you've neglected your plant for a long time and it's looking sorry for itself, then just give it a good drink and it should bring it back to life but you will probably lose a few leaves in the process. Like I said, this process will start on the lower leaves first, and unfortunately there's no real way to get the leaves to grow back on this plant. A root-bound fiddle leaf fig will mean that the plant is not getting sufficient water and nutrients to feed its growth, which normally leads to leaf drop. A plant being root-bound normally takes lots of beginner plant parents by surprise, <laughs> because of how quickly roots grow in the pot. You might have bought a new plant a few months ago thinking you won't need to up pot it for a couple of years, but chances are if you lift the plant out of its pot, it may be a little root bound. I aim to repot my house plants every spring. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> or at least every other spring to give the roots of the plant the chance to spread out in the pot during the growing season. The best way to tell if your fiddle leaf fig is root bound is to take the plant out of the pot and inspect the roots. Now in my experience, ficus plants don't tend to mind being a little bit root bound. 
You can expect to see some roots in the pot and this is fine. It's when the roots of the plant significantly outweigh the amount of soil in the pot that it needs to be potted up into a bigger pot, one or two sizes bigger. Soil is much better at holding onto moisture than roots. The soil retains the moisture and keeps the roots of the plant moist, which allows it to push out new growth. If there isn't enough soil in the pot, then the roots drink the water you give it pretty much straight away and it needs to be watered again soon. Have you noticed any of your plants in your home seem to be thirstier than normal? Yeah! Let me know in the comments. It's probably time for a repot. Try to only up pot your plant into a pot that is only one or two sizes larger than the existing pot. Anything more than this, and the ratio of soil to roots will be too much towards soil and you risk overwatering your plant. If we keep a plant in soil that is much too big compared to the root ball of the plant, then when we saturate the soil, it retains too much water for too long for the plant leading to root rot. Ficus plants, like lots of indirect sunlight and leaf drop can be a sign that your fiddle leaf fig is not getting enough light. This plant can tolerate a few hours of direct sun each day. I have mine in front of my east facing dining room window so on the rare occasions, we're lucky enough to get some sun here in Sheffield. <laughs> it gets about four hours of direct sun on those days. Keep this plant in a spot that gets little natural light and it really won't be happy. And you may be seeing some leaf drop. This is particularly true if you're watering your plant weekly and have it in a dark spot. The plant won't evaporate or transpire much water if it's not got access to lots of natural light. So you'll need to wait longer between watering your plant than if you had it on a south facing window where it gets lots of sun. Water weekly and you'll essentially be overwatering your plant, which comes with all the problems I've already mentioned. If you do have your plant in a warm spot in your home, you'll need to be mindful of how often you are watering the plant to prevent it from drying out and dropping some leaves. Never make assumptions about your plant though. Always check the soil before watering, no matter where it is in your home. Listen to your teacher. Yes, master. If you're watering your plant correctly and have it in a bright spot in your home and you're still seeing some leaf drop on your plant, then something more sinister may be happening. Pests are a surprisingly common problem for houseplants and the majority of plant owners probably aren't aware there are pests on their plants and it could be a reason why your fiddle leaf fig is dropping leaves. Oh my God, why? Spider mites are tiny arachnids that live on and munch away at the leaf tissue on houseplants. They are too small to see with the naked eye so they go largely unnoticed until we start to notice that our plant is looking sick. At this point, their population has grown and have essentially taken over the plant, sucking the sap from the leaves in the process. Can you see any spotting on the leaves of your fiddle leaf fig? Can you see any fine webbing on the stems and underside of the leaves? You'll need to look closely with a light, but if you do notice these things, then you have a spider mite problem. You'll therefore need to hose down the plant, change the soil, and then treat with an insecticide to stop them coming back. If spider mites aren't an issue, then can you see tiny white spots that look like little blobs of cotton on the stems? No, God, please, no, no, no! This would indicate a mealybug problem, and the plant will also need to be treated to stop the infestation in its tracks. Leaf drop occurs when pests are present because the plant is under stress and is going into survival mode. It's shutting down, conserving its resources to fight the attack. Disease can take hold of your fiddle leaf fig and lead to symptoms such as yellowing or browning leaves, stunted growth, droopy leaves, and leaf drop. You should be able to tell if your plant has succumbed to disease because there will usually be some discoloration or a white coating on the leaves. Leaf spot, blight, and powdery mildew are the most likely diseases to attack your fiddle leaf fig. In this case, the leaves of your plant will begin to slowly shrivel up, die, and fall off the plant. If this is happening to your plant, then you'll need to cut away any infected leaves, change the soil of the plant, and then treat with a fungicide to stop the disease spreading. We've pretty much considered all the nasties that might be causing the leaves to drop off your fiddle leaf fig, but your plant may be shedding a couple of its lower leaves simply because of its age. As your fiddle leaf fig gets older, it's pushing out new growth at the top of the plant, where it's focusing its energy and resources, and in the process, it does shed some lower leaves that are no longer providing much to the plant. This is a natural process for lots of plants as they get older. I bought my fiddle leaf fig as a young plant, 
And as it is getting older and bigger, it sometimes loses the lowest leaf. I know this is par for the course because I have it in a bright spot. I use my moisture meter before watering and I'm pretty sure my plant is not plagued by pests and disease. I've got three fantastic plant hacks that go against conventional wisdom that will boost the health of your fiddle leaf fig and save you valuable time in the process. So click on the link here to find out what they are.